A year after Charlottesville, what is the state of race relations? Authorities there denounced the violence last August and the self-described alt-right groups that sparked it. But 12 months after pandemonium hit the idyllic Virginia town, Charlottesville's first female African-American mayor, Nakia Walker, says the community has not recovered. We hear these stories about people who are just um, shocked at where we are in, in our communities in regards to racism. But even once the facts are presented, um, people really don't want to change their um, actions to help truly heal that. She came to office after the city was harshly criticized for its handling of the rally that killed one counter protester, Heather Heyer, and led to the deaths of two state troopers. President Trump's own equivocation last year in the wake of violence Hello, spurred by white supremacists sparked a national sides. debate. You look at both sides, I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. Fellow Republicans rebuked him. What he said on Tuesday was just really challenging. What the president should do before he says something is to sit down and become better acquainted, have a personal connection to the painful history of racism and bigotry of this country. The images of torch-wielding white nationalists drew international condemnation. And those hateful images were personally jarring for me too because this is the UVA that I knew. I spent countless hours on this lawn with my best friends. I walked across it to graduate. This is where my husband proposed to me. So I was shocked along with many of my fellow alumni to learn that two of the main organizers were also graduates. The university swiftly condemned them and days later held a vigil to retake the grounds. Infighting, lawsuits and a crackdown by some social media companies have challenged the two organizers who have since splintered. Jason Kessler is holding an anniversary rally in the nation's capital this weekend, but Richard Spencer told his followers not to participate. Virginia preemptively declared a state of emergency to prevent a repeat of last year. But Charlottesville sits on a fault line here in the South, one of the many running through this part of the country and throughout America these days. This weekend, we'll take a look at the divisions in America and how the state of race relations are impacting us as a country. We'll be joined by Charlottesville Mayor Nakia Walker, Virginia Democratic Senator Tim Kaine, and South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott. Don't miss Face the Nation this Sunday, Race in America, one year after Charlottesville.